John Schlarman was a good offensive lineman when he played at Kentucky. But I tell you, he's turned out to be a good coach. No, I'll take it back. He's turned out to where he must be a hell of a coach. Kentucky last year had two 1,000-yard rushers. That just doesn't happen in Kentucky. The general consensus was that Kentucky had either the second or at worst, the third best offensive line in the Southeastern Conference. That's really impressive, and you gotta give Schlarman credit for that. But what makes it even more impressive, so when you go to this year's SEC Media Days, and the media votes on preseason honors, there's not a single Kentucky offensive lineman mentioned. Never mind that all but one of those linemen are back, and that everybody considered them the second or third best offensive line in the Southeastern Conference. None of them, not on the first team, None on the second team, none on the third team. No Nick Haynes, no Bunchy Stallings, no Kyle Meadows, no Cole Moser, nobody. So if the players aren't that good, Schlarman's gotta be a hell of a coach is the way I look at it for his team or his unit to be ranked that high. The good thing about it, this will maybe just give that UK offensive line a little bit of an edge. They got kind of nasty and physical as the year went on last year. But now, knowing they got no respect for what they did then, that should make them even better this time. And what you really have to like about Schlarman is the way that his players love him. Take Tate Levitt, he wears number 65. You know the reason he wears that? That's the number John Schlarman wore at Kentucky. I've never heard of a player picking his coach's number to wear, but that just shows you how much these players like John Schlarman and why he's the coach that he is. This is Larry Vaughn's True Blue Views.